Everybody, welcome! Falcon Rebuild Gangs of Deadville. Um, if you're wondering what Deadville is all about, it's not like some sort of weird pseudo Al Capone, Don Corleone zombie game, uh, as much as the title would lead you to believe otherwise. This is actually a game that kind of got its start, um, I'm gonna see either in the Flash genre, Flash game genre, or at least personally if I have experience with the mobile version, I'm sure that's probably the more popular one, especially whenever you're looking for a game on a mobile device. Rebuild kind of had its own little um, game on there, which I have some experience with and I've enjoyed immensely. And then I found out that they kind of came out with their own standalone type of project here, like a full-fledged release here, which is um, what we're looking at here. Um, if I had to compare this to something relatable, I would say something along the lines of Zafal's Diaries for those of you that need like a comparison to another game. However, Rebuild kind of has its own little style and a lot of different other things that um, Safehouse Diaries does differently. So it's kind of along those lines, but not completely. Um, we're looking right now at the beta version 0.666, which alone itself kind of terrifies the hell out of me, but that's exactly where we're at right now. And um, it's a game that's still in early access, still being developed. However, what's already included is actually really, I guess, sizable. And the more things that they're adding is just basically extra features that they want to completely, I guess, incorporate into the final version of the game itself. But you know, I'm over here talking enough. Let's get into the game over here and show you what this game's all about here. New game. Alrighty. <clears throat> so right off the bat, you kind of have to create your own character here. And there's a, for the most part, there's going to be a lot of more different pictures here added and different characters. I'm going to rock this dude, though, just because he, he looks like a total baller. I want to keep him as a politician. Um... Let me just browse around over here. Like, everybody, every job has a particular thing that they kind of excel at here. So, gang member, for instance, gives you plus offense and no happiness hit from dead injury. An equipment shotgun. Construction gives you plus building, half materials cost, and equipment saw. So, all of these things will have a really important part to play in the game itself. And as you kind of recruit more people, they'll all have their own jobs that they kind of excel at. So, what I want to start off with right now is going to be the, um, this dude for sure as a politician. And let's see. And over here you'll be, I'll just give you a little browse about the different characters that they have. And then gender, so I have this big Bertha woman over here. Terrifying as all hell. You don't want to run into this woman in a dark alleyway, that's for sure. But um, yeah, just to give you an idea, there's going to be a lot more stuff of this added. But for now, I want to go with um, Homeboy here with this uh, Florida retired shirt and whatnot. And let's see, let's make him, make him a little bit sassy. You know, we might make him like Puerto Rican or something. You know, he could be like, hey. Join me, eh? I'm not sure if that's how Puerto Ricans sound. I apologize. That's really offensive to Puerto Ricans out there. You don't sound that way. I am just very narrow-minded. So we're going to go in with this one right here. And uh, in terms of name, let's give him a name here. What do we want to give this guy a name as? Um, we'll give him El Politico. That's his name because he's a politician. El Politico. Or you know what? How about we call him El Jefe? There you go. I think that's how you spell Jefe. It sounds alright to me. Alrighty. I like everything else over here. And we will continue along. See, skirmish. So over here it gives you an idea. You can kind of name your city and all things to that degree. Let's just randomize something. Um, let's see. <laughs> sure. El Jefe, the politician from El Seattle. I like it. So we'll do that. City size, it kind of lets you pick um, how many, how big you want the map to be overall. I'm going to go with typical. However, you could also increase the factions. The faction system is what I talked about when it comes to gangs. And what this does is basically, think of it something along the lines if I'm going to consider pop culture right now, like Walking Dead. You know, on the Walking Dead comic book and the show, there's, um, you have um, Rick's group, right? But then there's other groups around that have different beliefs and different ways to kind of go about things. This game actually does share that same sentiment as well, where you're not the only person out there and they will be a threat to your overall survival as well. So we're going to be going with two factions and we'll do city size typical. Rivers, um, we'll keep those off. I haven't messed around with those just yet. So before I do that, I'd like to get a little bit of experience before we do that. And you could also be a coastal city, which I guess... Seattle, Washington would kind of, kind of be there, but not quite. So, um, yeah, we're gonna roll with this in difficulty normal just because I don't wanna fuck it up here. And also, it has a seed function as well, meaning that, you know, if you guys would like to partake in the same seed that I'm kinda messing around with, we could kinda get a randomized seed going on for that. But for now, we're just gonna be rolling with this, and, um, you know, we'll go with it as it is. Alrighty, start. Let's get in here. Alrighty, I'm not gonna lie to you, L. You know, how about you finish my name, Diane Moon? This town's seen better days. It's overrun by the undead, and we've been living in fear for years. But with your help, it's time to make a stand. You're damn right. El Jefe from Puerto Rico now, um, you know, residing in Seattle and apparently leading the cause over here. Click and drag the map around. Our goal is to reclaim 50 of the darker buildings and restore Seattle to the city it once was. Click a couple of buildings to see what's uh, in them. Alrighty. So, now that we've done that, 
Um, that's gonna be the there's gonna be like more tips popping up as we go, which is fine because again, I'm not particularly too. I don't excel at this version of the game. I kind of have my roots with the mobile device version that I talked about. So right now we're starting off with El Politico over here, who's in the police station, or I should say El Jefe, not El Politico. That was the last name that I decided to choose here. Alrighty, yeah, we're done with that one. Now. We also have different characters. The way this kind of works is that you kind of drag people to different parts of the map that you kind of want to either scout, you want to get zombies, you want to guard, you want to build, etc, etc. Every building has different missions to choose and every survivor has a specialty. Anyone can go out and shoot at Zed, but soldiers, red colored, are naturally best at it. So again, everybody's going to have their own thing that they kind of excel at. And our individual, or at least our main character, does have the ability to level up all their other skills, while everybody else is only confined to what they excel at themselves. And you can do that at schools, which makes it a lot easier to level up your skills rather than, um, you know, going out and doing the other things in a more dangerous type of degree. Alrighty, so, for our first turn, this right here also works as a way that you could kind of skip days straight up, or you could go, like, by hour, fast, uh, medium, and fast, or, or slow, I should say. So we're going to be going by hour because I think skipping days kind of really um, puts a hindrance on you. Uh, adjust the game speed via the clock icon at the bottom right. If you switch it to pause, you can play in turn-based mode instead. It's your choice. I'm not judging. So we're going to be going with, um, at least for now, medium time, and we can kind of see how that kind of works out for us. So let's see. Right now we have 50 food. So we're eating about three per day right now. And then over here we have 20 materials which you can use to build other constructions and I believe like fences and things of that nature. Our dude isn't that doing that well right now. His happiness is kind of like, eh. You know, so we have to kind of keep that in check. We also have 10 ammunition, 5 medicine, and 5 fuel. And this right here will tell you the danger level in your surrounding area. So right now we're at zero because we just barely started off. Alrighty, so what I want to start off with here is checking out the school, which is actually a really good area to start with. Um, the school seems to have a lot of food in there. There's going to be four zombies. Surviv survivors can train here to increase their skills. It's faster and much safer than the usual way. So, let's see. When scavenging, you'll have the best chance of finding food in houses or grocery stores. Places like malls may have valuable equipment. Scavengers yellow will find stuff faster. The Zed are, very, are everywhere. Drag a soldier red out of the fort and pick the gun icon to kill a zombie. Do it regularly so, you can, so they can grow into a mass horde and attack us. And that's basically the biggest fear that you want to uh, avoid here is uh, getting stuck with a big mass of zombies coming at you. If they're just kind of in one place, kind of hanging around, it's a lot easier to take them down. When they're masked up, that is when you would run more of a risk to actually eliminate their numbers. And also one second. I right, apologize about that. So, um, we're going to do the school right now. We need to actually get rid of the zombies in here. Four Zed are in there, so let's start this mission. And this will be to kill zombies. And who do we want to use that? Well, again, we want to use our soldiers for that. So, we're looking at Ashley Raim. Ashley Raimi. Every survivor learns one skill, builders by building, leaders by leading, and so on. They can change by training at a school. You've, uh, you're special, El. It's El Jefe. Get it right. You can improve all five skills. All right. So let's again tell you basically what you mentioned. Right now, she's in a good mood. Her skill and in terms of uh, soldier is at level one right now. So if I was to use um, Ashley for this mission, she's selected right now. It would take her two days um, to actually clear out that area of zombies. And the danger pose would be 0%, so we're going to have her go alone. She should be okay. And we'll start right there. And then she'll head off over there and do her thing. Now, we're not really progressing time yet because we have to establish all of our other options here as well. So that's going to be her mission right now. If we go over to this house or this office, we used to spend our lives in these offices chained to desks, drinking cheap watery coffee to keep from falling into a boredom coma. Uh, three zombies in here. There's some food for us to gather as well. So with this one, we're going to definitely have... Our friend, Oisha Boston, handle that one for us. If we do that, it'll be 1.5 days and 0% zombie threat. Uh, we better get the city started by pressing the go button at the bottom. Don't rush me, gamer, right? Uh, <laughs> something to explain and um, things to do here. So, also, by the way, you could actually stack people to go in there. Like, for instance, if I send Oisha and El Jefe, it drops down to one day. If I add Harriet, it adds to one day. And, you know, it could drop down all the way to, like, half a day or something, depending on how viable the person you send in there to help out will be for you. So right now we're just in at Oisha 1.5 days and that's cool. So you go over there. Excellent. Now let me move about here. You, who are you? This man is uh, Theo Imison. He is actually a good scavenger. I'm surprised that this um, sheriff is not a good um, attack person. He has a perk though which is devout. Extra happiness from churches, none from bars. So apparently if he's in church he's um, praising God. 
he'll feel a little bit better about himself. So, let's see. I guess what he could do then is, um, you're kind of guarding, right? At admission. So you're just kind of guarding this area? Yeah, you might as well just hang out here. What is this? Mission lasts forever. <laughs> okay. So your guardian mission will last forever. I'll see you, I guess, um, never, I guess. Um, let's see. Over here we have the apartments. Home sweet home for two survivors if they don't mind the 70s decor and avocado green appliances. Again, there's a little bit of a lightheartedness to the game as well, which I actually do enjoy. It kind of deviates away from the whole grim, dark zombie type of thing, right? Um, in terms of start this mission, you could take people, if they're tired, to give them some time off. You could actually build stuff in a area they've cleared out. Uh, replace this building with something else, cost material, and then you could do some guard duty as well. So, right now, we'll ignore that one, though. El Jefe is over here at the police station doing his thing. What do we have over on this side? The office is, again, also pretty good. Um, the church we haven't reclaimed just yet. If a building is beside our fort and zombie-free, it's uh, safe to reclaim and extend our fort's walls around it. Builders will get the job done faster. Right now in church, there's nothing happening, so we might as well try to get a builder in there and reclaim this area. Let's see, who would be our top builders? My real question, is it Harriet? Yeah, it would be Harriet. So you, Harriet, are gonna go and do that. It's gonna take you five days. What if you take Theo with you? And El Jefe, four days. Yeah, not really worth it. So Harriet, you'll be reclaiming this area for us. And we'll start over there, so you go on that side. And again, you want to also guard your predetermined areas that you already have acquired, otherwise they will be overrun by zombies, and again, other factions involved. So I think for now, we are pretty good. So we're just gonna go and... You know what, Hefei, you come over on this side, I want to say. And I want you to just start doing some guard duty right now, over here, so we don't lose this area as well. That's good, let's actually progress time. We'll go this into a fast mode and see what happens. Right here, we go hour by hour. Again, most of our... You can see the progress that we're doing on these missions by their little um, bar over here as well, as well as their health. But for now, we're just kind of doing this in fast motion as opposed to just skipping days. Although, most of the missions that we have already going on will take days, but it's a little bit easier to kind of do. So, hey, here we go. Let's stop this really quickly. And it seems that Oisha Boston is done killing zombies over here. So let me go over here and check this out. Zombies are done. And 10 food. That's going to be for either somebody to reclaim or a scavenger to actually acquire. So, Aisha, good job on your part. Let me see how you're doing. Still happy? All right. Excellent. Guardian the Ford. And her perk is what? Oh, you also um, get extra happiness from churches. Good. We're going to reclaim that really soon for you as well. So, now that that's done, we, we can go and send her over here. And instead, we're going to have her do... Actually, you know what? Let's have... Um, cancel this out. Whatever. Do that. You come back over on this side. I have to do this um, single-handedly, do I? Alrighty. Let me go over here. Start mission. And we're going to actually scavenge with our boy, Theo. Because he is a scavenger. It's going to take him five days to acquire all that shit. That's kind of a hassle now, isn't it? If I send El Jefe, I'll get 3.3. .3. What if I send Oisha? 3.3. 2.5 if I send everybody. But again, I want to keep some of my perimeters open. So let me send Theo and El Jefe together. You're in a bad mood, aren't you? 0% happiness? <laughs> Look at that scowl on his face. Alrighty, look, go scavenge and have a good time, how about that? You will guard this um, farm area, and that's about it, huh? Okay, now let's continue going and see um, what the next um, story is here. Alright, so let's stop this. Zombies killed. So she's done with her little excursion over to the school area. There's going to be a bit of food for us to acquire. So I could probably send her back over here and have her do some scavenging. How well that's going to go is really determined by their skills, as we both already mentioned. It's going to take her 10 days. Ooh, that's a long time. You know, just hang out there, as a matter of fact, then, and I'd much rather have you mm, scavenge, reclaim. It's going to take you a while, though. Five days, huh? What if I send just you, huh? Try to reclaim that area for us, I guess. Are you scavenging and reclaiming? Oh, we're doing both. I, I get you. I get you. All righty. So, yeah, let's continue going forward. We have a few things over here happening. I could start skipping days, but again, it's a lot easier. Oh, we found some food, obviously. Let's clip on this, and that's going to be over here. So we got a little bit more food going on. Excellent. So we're looking relatively good. More food found. Where was this at? Over up here. And I guess more than likely, the more your better your dudes are at finding stuff, they will uh, acquire bigger quantities for you. Zombies killed down over on this side. Found some food over here, and found some food up here. 
So right now, no real reason to kind of, um... Oh, okay. Now we have to stop. Stop for a second. When enough Zed gather, they'll form a dangerous mass horde. It'll, it'll attack soon, so better post someone on guard duty nearby. Click a building to see how much danger it's in. So, this guy's over here, meaning we're liable to lose this area. 11% danger. How many zombies are riled up in here? Uh, let's see. If I started a mission, seven zombies. So, there's seven zombies over here. That's not that big of an issue, except when they're masked, they get a more danger boost to what they're doing. So, what I want to do then is actually... Um, you're reclaiming still, right? What are you guys doing? Reclaiming building? Or still scavenging about? Seems like you're still scavenging about. So, you're trying to reclaim. Harriet is... Uh, no, Harriet's the one we're trying to reclaim. Oisha, let me get you... Out of this mission. Preferably. Oh, the church was reclaimed already. Oh, sweet. Alrighty. So, um, Harriet is done over here. Someone defending this building, but there aren't any mass zombies nearby. Send the survivors to do something more useful by dragging them to another building. So how about we send you over here to actually help us out with the reclaim action. Let me edit this mission. And we'll get Oisha out of this as well. Alrighty, apologies about that. So I what I wanted to do was actually uh, split up Harriet from this other crowd over here. So she's going to just work on um, reclaiming this mission. What I wanted to do is get my fighters out of there because, again, this area over here is in possible danger. So let me scoot these people over here. You're going to do some guard duty and make sure that nothing um, goes wrong over here. Let's continue to get the aim. And, ah, alrighty. Let's stop this really quickly. So we're done scavenging this area. So the other thing we can do is because nobody is here, we could probably also reclaim this area as one of ours. Again, that would take some building to be done. So what I could do is, let's see, start a mission over here. And we will also do a bit of a reclaiming object over here. And we'll probably go with Theo, maybe. Yeah, we'll send Theo over there by himself. He's not ex exactly great at this. You know what? Let's just send El Jefe instead because he can learn these other skills anyway. So you go over there, El Jefe, and try to reclaim this building for us. Theo as our scout and scavenger. Let's see. Suburbs. There's uh, 10 resources in here. 10 food, and we're also looking at 8 zombies, huh? Alrighty. So how about we start a mission over here and we will do... We don't have to scout it, but that's already pretty much scouted. Too many zombies right now to actually do that. I don't want to send him alone because he's not really a great fighter, so for now we're going to hold off on that. Let's see about here. Laboratory. What do we have in this one? A drive-in. Hasn't been scouted yet. So, we won't know what's in the building until we send someone to scout it. Scouting also reveals how many zombies are milling around there and makes later missions safer. So, that's a perfect spot to send our boy Theo to. Alrighty. He's in a good mood right now. Scavenger level 1.6. We'll start that off. Alright. So, let's continue going forward here and see what falls about. This we already know of. The church has been reclaimed. Somebody should probably stand there on duty just to be safe, but I'll ignore it for now. Alrighty, so, scouted. Let's stop. What, do you, what did you find here? Uh, I wonder if the new Bond movie's out yet. Oh, wait, right. Increases happiness if we have electricity to run it. <laughs> Which we don't right now. So, one zombie. That's actually a relatively easy spot, but there's nothing over here. There's no people to recruit. No food, and apparently no resources. So it's just basically something that we could kind of handle to have into our extender perimeter. But it's really not something that's going to really benefit us right now. But, because there's only one zombie, I don't, or two zombies, I don't feel too bad about sending Theo in there by himself. It'll take him 1.9 days, and... Ooh. 25% danger because of the Zed and the distance. What if I send Oisha in there with you? One day, zero. Good. So send Oisha right there with you, and you'll handle your thing. Keep going forward. Alrighty, so again, we're trying to get this reclaimed, and this one as well. You're over here guarding for this mass zombie horde. More than likely, we're going to have to, at one point or another, kind of assault this um, horde over here, just to be sure. Let's stop. We're done with the zombie kill over here. Nice. So there's nothing over here. We could kind of try to acquire this area now as well. Let's see, what are we looking at here? Harriet, you're still reclaiming. And what about you? Reclaiming. You're not doing a bad job at that. Now, we also have a school, right? Could have sworn we did anyway. Department. Could have sworn we had a school, didn't we? Office. Oh, that's what we're trying to reclaim. Okay, the moment we get this um, school reclaimed, it'll be easier for us. Because then we'll be able to learn our skills a bit faster. So, let me edit this mission. I would like to give... Who is it I just finished with offer here? I want to give Aisha Boston to help you out. In terms of reclaiming. Alright. So maybe that will speed it up a bit. The faster we get that school under our belt, I think the better it'll be. What's going on with the Zet over here? Danger to Fort, 0%. That's because we're on guard over here, so that's actually helping us out. 
And if I'm right, if I'm open to another mini, oh, that's not good. See that smiley by your face on the left? That's the average happiness of our survivors. If it's low, people might refuse to work, or worse, churches, bars, and time off missions takes uh, makes people happier. Alrighty. So right now we're paused, and what are we looking at this danger here? 14% danger to our fort, that is because we have Homeboy over here. He's not exactly the greatest um, guard on duty, he's more of the scavenger that we mentioned. These zombies are gathering for an attack, it's more dangerous to enter, and they might get through our walls any day now. Alrighty, so we'll actually deal with that. How about um, we call it an episode here? Hopefully you guys enjoyed what you've seen so far. Our food's actually kind of dropping a bit low, so we have to kind of um, go and scavenge a bit more outward really soon. Hopefully it is Mickey D's. <laughs> Not really making these though, is it? Um, we will try to get some more food with that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed what you saw. Again, it's called um, Rebuild, Dead um, Gangs of Deathsville. Really fun game. I have the information for it in the description below. I'll probably play a bit along. I'll play with it a bit more. And by play with it a bit more, I am talking about the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support really helps a lot in terms of um, growing the channel further. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.